this video will dictate the procedure for the structural analysis in Pro Mechanica. Here is a cantilever beam which has the dimensions as follows. Analysis measure length. The length of this beam is 100 millimeters. Similarly, the width of the beam is 10 millimeters. And the height of the beam is 10 millimeters. This beam is made of steel. The boundary conditions and loading are this beam is fixed at this end and is loaded with a predefined force on this end vertically downwards. Let us begin with the structural analysis, static structural analysis of this beam. Pick on applications, mechanica. Unit information window will open which says the unit of this file is millimeter newton second means the dimensions of the geometry is in millimeters the force applied will be in newtons and the time is in seconds the mass will be in ton temperature in degree celsius pick on continue to accept the current unit system Mechanica model setup is now open. Select the model type as structural. Ensure that FEM mode is unchecked and keep the default interface as bonded as there is no contact in this problem. Pick on OK. Now this is the environment of Pro Mechanica. First and the foremost thing which need to be done is specify the material of this beam. That is, pick on defining the material. This is the material definition window from which select steel. Assign the steel material to the model. Select OK to complete the material definition window. Now assign the material to the model. Pick on material assignment. Enter the name of the material assignment in the material assignment window. Select the reference as a component. Component name is beam and the material is defaultly taken as steel. The material orientation is none. Pick on OK. You can find the symbol that the material is assigned. This also can be recorded in the materials in the model tree. Now apply the desired boundary conditions to the model. Pick on fix constraint or the displacement constraint. Rotate the model. This is the face which I want to constrain. Under References, select Surface. Now, under Select Geometry References, pick on this face. This particular face is now recorded 
in surfaces. By default, the translation in X, Y and Z direction is fixed. Similarly, the rotations are also fixed about the respective axis. Now, pick on OK. You can observe the symbol displacement X, displacement Y, displacement Z are zero. Similarly, the rotations. This small triangular symbol represents displacement constraint. Reorient the model. Now, apply the force. Pick on the force icon. The force or moment load definition window is now open. The name of the load or the force applied is load 1. And the references will be for surfaces. Under surfaces, select on this face. Apply the desired force in vertical downward direction. To ensure the direction downward, switch on the datum coordinate system. Observe that the vertical direction is Y. To apply the force in Y direction, enter the magnitude in Y with a negative sign. The applied force now is 1000 Newton. Pick on OK. This completes the definition of force. Now, define the meshing for this model so that the model will be discretized into finite number of elements connected by nodes. That can be done by defining the element size first. Pick on control. The control definition window is now open. The maximum element size need to be entered. Instead of surfaces, pick on the components and the component is the beam. Enter the element size as 5. Pick on OK. Now, the maximum size of 5 is defined for this model. To generate the mesh, select the mesh icon. That is, Create a P-Mesh for Geometric Element Modeling. In this window, With All Properties option is now highlighted. Select Create. Observe that under the command window or command line, total of 1680 elements with 506 nodes is created. You can observe the model is now meshed with tetra elements. You can observe now the beams present in this model are zero. Similarly, no triangular and quadrilateral elements. There are no wedge and brick elements. Only tetra elements are present. Select Close. Now save the mesh. File Save. Close this window. Now enter into the design study. Pick on Design study or the analysis study. A analysis and design study window is now open. Define a new analysis. File New Static. Under Static Definition, observe 
that the analysis name is 1 and the constraint set which is specified for this model and the loads which are defined. Constraints basically means the constraints which are defined over here and loads which is defined over here. The method of solution will be single pass adaptive. Under output, observe that calculation of stress, rotation and reaction is now highlighted. Pick on OK to accept the parameters. Now use the run analysis icon to start the run. There is a confirmation window. Do you want to run interactive diagnostics? Select yes. The design study is now started and that can be seen from the command line here. To observe the detailed study, pick on this window, display status and observe that the run status This is the output file or this is the file which will be generated during the solution which gives all the details which are required or all the details which were being used for this analysis. All the results will be captured in this window. This is called as output window. At the last, read the message that run is completed. Pick on close. Here is the diagnostics window which says about the solver and it discusses about the solution process. Select close. Now enter into the post processing of results. Post processing basically means observing the stress, observing the deformation and the animation of the behavior due to loading. This is review results icon. Select on the review result. The result file window name will be 1. And this result will be of analysis 1. The display should be the display of the fringe plot for the stress. And the component of stress should be one misses. Instead of stress, the area of interest can be selected, which means the stress, strain, displacement, and the respective component also can be selected. Currently, we are interested in the stress that is two of one misses stress. Click on display location and accept the condition. Click on display options, select continuous tone and observe the deformed shape and animate the model. Click on OK and show. This is the behavior of the beam due to the applied load. Set the model orientation. The speed of this animation can be controlled. It can be observed here. The value of stress. Maximum and value of stress. 
minimum. Now, to check for the displacement, select on edit selected definition in the quantities instead of stress select displacement magnitude select magnitude or x y z direction currently use y as the area of interest is y pick on ok and show this is the displacement which for happened. This is the minimum displacement and this is the maximum displacement. In this case, the maximum displacement is happening here magnitude wise, but as far as the sign is concerned, it is showing the magnitude maximum as here. The result which need to be seen is this value because even though it is showing a minimum deformation value, this is the actual magnitude of deformation in downward direction. To plot the graph of deformation along the length of the beam, Go back to the edit results. Under the quantity, select displacement and select y axis and pick on the display locations and display options. In display type, use graph. Interested is the displacement of Y component along the curve. That curve is this edge. Pick on Done. There is an information. The highlighted point will be correspond to the start of the graph. Here you can observe the point is highlighted. Pick on OK. Now, pick on OK and show. This is the graph which shows the deformation which has happened along the length of the beam. These are the in-between points where the deformation result can be observed. The x-axis and the y-axis of the graph represent the displacement of the beam along the length. As the beam is made up of 100 mm length, it can be observed from 0 to 100. And the displacement magnitude was minus 2.4 around. And that value can be seen here. In this way, the desired results can be captured. Pick on Edit result window. Instead of displacement, it can be taken as a stress strain. Pick on OK. Now pick on Edit result window again. Pick on window 1. OK. Use OK and show. Once the result viewing is completed, pick on File, Exit Result. Do you want to save the current result window? This window can be saved at the respective folder. File, Exit. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe the channel below.